A topic that keeps coming up in both Forge and the God Tier Ads group is what are your thoughts on AI and Google ads management in two or three years time? Essentially, people are, are scared of where things are headed in that are they going to get automated away? So PPC managers and agency owners in particular, and even in-house marketers, you know, the, the fear is real that all these automations and AI and the platforms themselves like Google and Facebook are streamlining things to a point where the human isn't needed anymore. And to a certain degree, that is true. Uh, we've seen it with things like Pmax, but then you could argue that Pmax versus shopping is actually potentially more work because you've actually got to introduce text and image assets and even videos as well. So it's kind of a weird double-edged sword, that one. Yes, there's information locked away, but your creative work has sort of increased. But there are fundamentals that will never change and you can't really automate away uh, and you don't need to automate away and the platforms won't really get to that point not for a long time and that is the fundamentals of advertising of marketing that haven't changed for literally a hundred bloody years in that you are talking to a audience that has an existing demand they already want what you're looking for they need a doctor because they've got a broken elbow they've got a broken pipe they need a plumber yeah, this you don't ge generate that demand that demand exists it comes about because of a need and so your job is to find those people if you've got an offer a product or a service that they want and you put a message in front of them so the plumber example is pretty straightforward you know i need an emergency plumber what am I going to do? I'm going to Google it. And what do I need to verify before I contact that plumber? I need to know that they're available and they're trustworthy and they're in my area. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. So your job as an advertiser or a marketer is to put an advert in front of them that says those things. It's, you know, we've got, we're trustworthy and uh, we can show it and we're available 24 seven. Here's our emergency phone number and our prices start from X for a call out, you know, all the information you need. So when someone sees that in the advert, they click it because you've targeted the right keyword and the landing page essentially is contiguous to that message. So you get there, it's very clear it's an emergency plumber. The call out fee is this, here's the number, we're open 24 seven and here's a load of uh, Trustpilot or Google reviews or whatever. So the trust is there so you can verify as a potential customer uh, and hey presto that is not going to change sure the medium and the transportation or the vehicle that gets people there changes so we've gone from smoke signals to radio ads from radio ads to youtube ads okay fair enough but the premise is still the same you need to get your message in front of the right audience and present it in a way that is attractive so that's your offer and these things don't change and they will not change because that's human behavior. So yes, Google might add different knobs and bells and whistles and tweaks and formats and yada, yada, yada. But the underlying fundamentals will always be there. So if you get those right, that's a big chunk of the job, to be honest with you. And if you get those right, it means that it's a lot easier to adapt to change on the ad platforms because essentially you are just learning a new feature or a change to a feature. Oh, okay, what's Google done today? It doesn't change your understanding of the business fundamentals, the offer fundamentals, and how people actually go about finding and buying stuff.